Hello, Nicola. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. A bit nervous. <laughs> okay. As I, as I said, no need to be. Everyone here is is rooting for you, and we're just so looking forward to seeing seeing your art. But obviously, I've seen lots of this already, so I'm a bit more privileged to the audience who <laughs> able to see your wonderful art. Um, but tell us a bit more about yourself and and the art and how you come come along to do these paintings. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to talk about my work overall, really. Um, okay. So yeah, my name's Nicola, I'm 33 years old. I live in a small town in Shropshire with my husband and my two children. I have a degree in teaching, learning and mentoring and I work in a primary school. Um, art's always been a hobby of mine um, since childhood. I love to draw and paint at given any opportunity. With all the extra time at home last year, I found my ambition and passion has grown. I've immersed myself into building my skills, learning new techniques and learning more about the history of art. I struggle with my confidence, um, but it's improving. I feel by being here today and laying my heart out on a canvas and sharing it with the world proves this. Um, in terms of my style and vision, I'm simply nothing more than myself. I wish to make a mark on people's hearts and connect with them through my own thoughts and feelings. My work is inspired by life and all that it throws at us. I love history. I love the simple things in life. And this, I hope this is reflected in my work and these three paintings I put before you today. I believe, I believe in creativity and expression. I create my own sources through using my own personal aesthetic based on my own emotions in which I think makes my, my work um, unique. I work with a wide, wide variety of mediums. I draw with ink, charcoal, graphite. I paint with inks, acrylic and oils. I love to explore new mediums and add depth, depth to my work. I enjoy working in layers and being able to see those layers in my finished pieces. I'm always experimenting, more recently started using spray paint, collage and mark making for my underpaintings. I feel this is a strength of mine and I enjoy moving with the times and always eager to find out something unique. I like to think my art moves on with time while still incorporating those old historic techniques. I like to use the monochromatic underpainting and subtracting my source using a variety of subtraction tools. I also enjoy painting thin to thick, working gradually towards refinement. I enjoy the, adore the style of the Baroque and Re Renaissance periods, the contrast of light and dark and the romantic appearance. I also like to show the brushstrokes in my work. I feel it evokes emotions in my paintings and I hope that people feel this when they view my work up close. And finally, I just like to um, take the opportunity to say thank you to all my friends and family and to everybody who's organised this competition having me here today. Oh. Thank you. Oh Nicola, well done, well done for getting through that. I, I think we could all see that it's you're on time. nervous there. But you did absolutely brilliantly and it's been wonderful to, to see your images um, on the screen as well to, to show exactly what you know talking about your brush strokes and things like that so let's go to the judges to so well done let's go to the judges to see what they think Geetha what are your thoughts on on Nicola's art hi Nicola um, hi beautiful explanation and even if you didn't give an introduction to all your uh, three paintings um, yeah, what comes across really strongly is there's so much love and compassion that comes through in all the three of them. Um, to start with the line one, what I loved about it is whilst there is also details, there is also um, a, a heart led, you know, in a, in a very sort of candid manner, you have, you have tried to portray a line and probably uh, try to detail it as you are, you, you know, transmitting whatever you're thinking, because it is to do with, uh, when it comes to Indian classical dance, there's this called, word called rasa, the essence of what the art is trying to portray. Unless that artist feels it in the heart, it will not reflect in the work. So I see so much of rasa in all your paintings, and particularly in the line, what I see is even though it's such a dynamic, um, you know, animal, there is so much compassion, dignity, yet down to earth uh, sort of feeling that that it evokes, and and that uh, the little rabbit is it? Um, it's a lamb. It's a lamb. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, sort of again, 
you know, the contrasting, you know, nature of that animal and to, to exist um, on the same level and so on. And you just portrayed that certain humility within that painting. And I really love that. And um, your second painting um, about love and what it is, is uh, the explanation said that, um, um, that they were not meant to be, they're not approved by the society to be together, but yet what you have done is the use of color, the way you have, uh, you know, the gradations within that, that whole painting from starting from the sky to the, uh, um, you know, to the details on the ground, on the shore of it, absolutely beautiful, it, very cohesive and uh, meaningful. It done, it didn't, but I mean, I did think, you know, why there is a pink, why there is this, but I suppose love has, you know, no limits and likewise with colors, whatever would spark those different nuances within love, I suppose you try to bring that out and I love that too. Um, at the last one, I, I think um, in a way the texture of the paper that you've used has contributed um, a lot uh, in, in giving that raw, rough sort of um, a background to it because it is quite um, heavy and it's quite a strongly expressional piece as well. Um, but all, all the three, uh, my favorite was the line and all the very best, I love them all. Thank oh, you. that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Geetha. Terry, over to you. Terry, can you unmute for a moment? Thank you. Hi, Nicola. Hi. Three very accomplished pieces of work, so well done to you. Thank you. Um, I liked all three, and I felt you have an, a, an amazing ability to blend colours, um, creating techniques and creating impact, and quite having quite a very stimulating visual effect. Um, all three images were one that I could look at for a very long time because right. despite the fact that they were quite focused on the various things, they were quite impactful. I particularly liked the, the second one, was it Forget Me Not? Yes, yeah. Forget Me Not. And, and what you've done with the colours there and the sky is absolutely incredible, quite extraordinary, that um, evoking that mystery, um, beautiful, loving sense was really quite powerful and, and impactful. Um, you know, the strong sunset, that amazing ability to have you blended um, a really powerful uh, sunset with a very strong um, sky, night sky image. Um, I like the fact that you said that it was Baroque and the Renaissance pa paintings that have, have, that have inspired your work. And again, we saw, we, we can clearly see reflection in that in some of, the, in some of those images that you've drawn. They are, you've said that you wanted to, you, you seek to inspire people in your work and all three pieces are really quite inspirational. So well done to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Terry. That's wonderful, wonderful words. Emily, would you like to give us a, a final minute as to um, what your thoughts are? I think, I think Nicola, a lot has been said in the detail and um, the way, it is, it is the way you've used the paint and the techniques and things. Um, I've got for Nick, forget me not up right now because um, out of the three, that was the one that really drew me in. Um, it's just, you know, the flowers into her hair and the hair into the background and the colour. It's your use of colour. Um, and I think what's so lovely is um, your emotion coming through. So you said at the start that you were a little bit nervous, mm -hmm. but, I, you know, I can see emotion and kindness. And I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm going with what you've said to me. But if I go to the first one, the lion that fell um, in love with the lamb, I, I liked the story behind that, that one is very powerful and one is not so powerful, but together they're kind of, you know, united. And it is your use of colour in the background. Again, it's beautiful. But then the markings on that lion and the brush strokes and the techniques you've used, we can see he's very, you know, proud, but actually he's also very kind and he's, He's, you know, um, caring with the lamb. And I think it's really lovely that your personality has really come through. And just quickly, um, beloved misfits, I mean, just, it's just the whole concept, the, the colours in the background, the way you've caught that mm -hmm. cloud and the magic and the colour, really good use of colour, um, very talented. So well done. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Emily. 
Well, Nicola, you've got to be pleased with those comments. A little bit overwhelmed, I think. I'm sure yeah. that's absolutely amazing, <laughs> and and I feel that the judges have have actually picked up on what you what you were saying, and they felt what you were trying to portray, and and talking about you coming yourself coming across in those yeah. things. Thank you. It's wonderful. Are there Thank any you. particular comments there that really struck for you? Um. I'm just trying to take it all in what they've all said really it was really beautiful what they've said and I appreciate that they've been able to pick up on what I was trying to portray and obviously you know I want them to give their own stories to people not just mine and that they mean something to somebody else as much as me um so no I'm just really grateful with all the comments they're brilliant thank you wonderful well fantastic congratulations um on getting this far and good luck in in the next round you've done absolutely brilliantly and, and the artwork is, is stunning. Thank you so Thank much, you. Nicola. Thanks Take for your care. time.